Back in episode 34, we used the response cache plugin with Envelope. Use response cache gives us great control over the execution phase of our GraphQL server. In this case, we're using GraphQL Yoga and this plugin together with Envelope. Here I have a simple GraphQL Yoga server where we have some messages for users. If we scroll down, we can see that we can fetch messages from the query and also we have the user type here and we also have the message type. And to resolve all of the messages, we grab the user from the context. From the HTTP request, we are destruction the authorization header. And from that, we fetch from the users array, the user where the ID of that pass through the authorization header matches that in a mock data. Then we simply pass that user on to the context that can be then used inside of our GraphQL resolvers. If we scroll down, we can see here that we have no plugins installed for our cache. And if we head on over to graphical here and we run a query, you'll see here that we have an error, user is not authenticated. This is because we haven't passed anything in through the header. So inside of here, I'm going to pass the authorization header and give it a value. If we go back to our mock data, we can see we have user ID one, two, and three. And these match the user IDs that we have for our messages. Now let's run this with the value one for our authorization header. And we can see here that we have hello and how's it going as our two messages. But what happens if I now change this to two? I run this again. You'll see now we are getting the same response from the GraphQL Yoga server. And this is because we are using the use response cache. We are caching the response from our query. And as far as use response cache is concerned, this query is identical to what was sent before. If we update this now to include the user and we fetch the ID, you can see now we have one message. However, if I continue to run this and I change the ID of our user, the same value will be returned to us. And this is because this query is cached and so is the response. This isn't ideal when you have multiple users. This can leak private and sensitive information across users because you're using a default implementation of the use response cache. Thankfully, use response cache gives us the ability to define the session and set a global or local ID for the session. Session is given the context. And we can then pass the string value and we'll simply use context.user.id. Now, if we save and return back to graphical and run this query, you can see here, that we have a message for our third user. And if we change this to two and run the query again, you'll see now we have a new message and the correct message for that user with ID two. If we change this back to one, we also get the two messages as we did originally for the user where the ID is one. So now we have the caching based on all of our users using the headers that we provided when we made a request. If we remove this header now and run this, you'll see that we get that error user is not authenticated. And if we go back and return to passing that ID in the header, we'll get those messages. You'll notice inside of the users array that we have a Boolean flag for is admin. We can also use that user context that we have available to us to enable or disable the cache based on whether that user is an admin or not. And using that context, I can return whether or not the cache is enabled by checking the is admin flag. If we also include extension metadata and set this to true, if we go back to our graphical playground and now run a query, you can see here we get some information about the response cache. So our first request here was a hit false. And if we run it again, we get a cached response. If we execute this query for users two and three, you'll notice that we have a cache response hit as true. If we change the user ID to one, the is admin flag on this is set to true. So if a user is admin, we should disable the cache. If we run this, you'll see no matter how many times we run this now, we'll get a cache hit false. 